Hey folks, this is part two because uh, again, I, I don't know what I'm doing as a photographer or really as a carpenter, uh, uh, so I had to make it two parts. I did want to apologize. I'm an uh, uh, amputee and in a wheelchair right now, and I do tend to roll back and forth as a habit, and I noticed that on the first one. It's kind of irritating, so my apologies on that. And I also wanted to mention that uh, as I talked about, you know, these logs, these longer logs, uh, they're 17 and 20 inches. Uh, they 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 do allow for them for the entire roof uh as, as i showed you earlier there i use singles and i saved probably 25 of those logs and was able to use it to build a lot of uh log cabin furniture for his uh we don't call them doll houses but his his uh his man cave uh log cabin so uh, uh it was definitely worth the, the extra effort i just wanted to kind of show you guys what it looked like with all the uh cars in and on the different you know the three different shelves of course you can put them underneath i didn't just because of, uh you know didn't have time but also on the sides you can see you know where they hold at least two or three a piece and then you can see the race track in the middle uh again it's still a work in progress uh, let me open the door uh you know and i'm going to tie it into something or or, or who knows I, I did want you to see hopefully you can see now, that the racetrack is somewhat functional. Uh, I can roll that around. Nope. Let me try it again because I'm doing it with one hand. Yeah. Uh, okay. So, uh, again, that's what I had. Uh, I'll uh, post this as my fourth, uh, second, doll, second log cabin. And I did two other uh, doll houses. Uh, I either built them for my kids slash grandkids or I try to do uh, one or two for charity each year I just really enjoy it so uh, maybe I'll create a channel who knows but I just want to share with you guys kind of what what I did so you guys have a great day thanks